As an instructor, I can view the tournament and see the same view that the students have. When I enter, I see what's due next and the due dates for all the upcoming matches. I can show the students their grade book without names so they can see their results as compared to everybody else. Now here, after week two, matches one and two have closed. The results for match one are very interesting. The top speed is here at student number seven. And this is a student who two days earlier had failed the entrance exam, had not completed it. And now, after practicing 72 times, he is ranked number one in the class in speed. Interestingly enough, he's also ranked number two in number of correct problems with 626 problems, which is 407 greater than the class average. You can see his average time is nine minutes and 18 se seconds, but he's gotten faster over his practicing time. So his top speed is three minutes and 33 seconds. Now the top number of problems, you can see he's got three points. That's the top number of extra credit problems. Is someone who got 649 correct problems. However, this student is is a little bit slow. His speed is 67 minutes and 57 seconds, which is quite a bit behind the class average. But yet he still was able to get three extra credit points because he was working so hard. Now, if the other problems, the other uh, extra credit points, two and a half points for a second place. Here's the second place rank in speed at three minutes and 51 seconds. And this person was not doing uh, a lot of extra extra problems, but he was very fast. In the second match, you can see the same person received the top speed and also got second place rank. Now he's doing 939 problems. He actually asked me, what was the top ranked number of problems in the first match? So he was going to beat that, which he did beat that with 900. But however, this was not first place in number of problems. Student number 21 got first place place in number of problems with 2,142 <laughs> problems, which is 1,900 problems more than the class average. Now this student did not perform well in the first match and I took him aside after class and informed him that this was something he could do if he worked at it. He took that to heart and he said it was a lot of fun. He was very entertained and, <laughs> and tried it 269 times. So he worked very hard at that. He was also ranked number two in speed, which was uh, very interesting. So the second place in both speed and number of problems was given to people who got the first place in something else. So that wasn't awarded to anyone else. Here's second place in, or third place rather, in speed with a speed of five minutes and 47 seconds. You can see the bar graph showing the distribution of points here, and we have uh, we have people who have A's in the majority. So people are working very hard to get A's. Not everyone gets extra credit. You can see the extra credit rankings. 1.5 points mean you have a position of fourth through tenth in s either speed or number of correct problems. F a number one point extra credit is meaning you are above the class average.